Good evening, good evening, good evening. Um, I hope y'all having a great night. I hope you had a great day. I hope you had a great week, great weekend, all of that. I want to. I was going to go live, but I decided that I don't want to spend too much time on this. Unless you guys want to go live, we can. Um, but I want to talk about, of course, what happened in the last couple of days with the new scam. Now, these people have been scamming, to my knowledge, to 20, since 2018, okay? There's no need to explain my reasoning for why I call them a scam, because that is what they are. They scammed off of Book's child. They scammed off of my grandson. They scam for bikes. They scam for computers. They scam for TVs. Now they're scamming. They scam for 50 turkeys. 50 families for Thanksgiving. Now I was in Lovely's chat last night. And the question was brought up. Who are these 50 people? Where are these 50 turkeys? And how did you even get 50 turkeys from one spot? Now, I know in Illinois, with the pandemic, there is a limit to whatever you need to get from the grocery store. Turkeys, I'm pretty sure, you cannot go to one spot and get 50 turkeys. Now, a lot of us know what receipts look like now lovely shout out to her did her damn thing she proved everything with receipts now that bullshit that was shown last night by these fucks was no way a receipt there was no date shown there was no cost or how much these receipts added up to we do know that there were nothing shown about 50 turkeys and all the fucking trimmings for 50 families. I put something in Lovely's chat and I said that this shit is going to continue if these fucking people continue to condone this bullshit. Now, let me reiterate what I meant by that. You go into these fucks chat room and you clearly hear that they're lying. You clearly see that they're lying to you. To you. Their so-called fam. Their so-called team. Now I know that there are some people that just do not have the aptitude to think rationally. They don't have the aptitude of common sense. Then there are other people that just refuse to understand. Refuse to ask the right questions to the right people. Now what bothered me? When Lady D got up on Lovely's panel, people come up to have the audacity to question her. How dare you? We know, I know, that Lady D was a friend to that fat bitch. To go through all the shit that she's gone through with this motherfucker for the past couple of years. So to take advantage of her and use her to be your scapegoat is fucked up. It's foul. And you will get what's coming to you eventually. Now we know, or at least I know, that you're not alone in this, right? You got a team of people, right? That help you do this shit. 
It's funny to me how one person who claimed that they would never donate to that bitch again, ever again. But yet your name, Aang, was brought up again. And you go under Lovely's video and say you didn't donate. Then why the fuck would she say you did? It's funny. Liars protecting liars. There's so much more to this that I really would love to get into. Because I would love to know. It's sick. It's disgusting. That you have people like this. That feel like it is okay. For people to lie. For people to scam. For people to deceit. For just people to be just the foulest fucking people. And the other motherfuckers. That ride with this shit. And think that it's okay for people to say that their people die for money. And laugh at that shit. Some people. There's no fucking words to describe them. With the holidays coming up. With a pandemic. People don't just have money. To give away. You have genuine people. Who do care. Whether someone is homeless, whether someone is hungry, whether someone is alone for the holidays. Some people do care, but then there are other people who only care about what that person, they can benefit off of, they can scam off of, they can lie to, they can get sympathy from. It's sad. I don't get it. It's not in my heart to scam anybody. And for somebody to get on LTG's panel and say that everybody has scammed, bitch, no the fuck they have not. How dare you? You sitting up there on a goddamn, in a room, in a chat room with people who have. And who has done it and will fucking do it again. Because you have people like that that condone it. You have people like that that clearly see the writing on the wall. But they refuse to comprehend what that writing says. Or what it means. I can't imagine someone... Contacting me and telling me a sob story of someone else's life. That's none of my business and profit off of it. And then on the flip side, pretend that you give a fuck when you said that that woman was the one that was on the phone with your HIV ass having nickel. That's fucked up. But this person still considers you a friend. Friends don't lie on you. Friends don't lie to you. Friends don't lie about you. Period. A friend is just that. I appreciate what Lovely did. Stand up thing to do. Great thing to do when she made peace with Carla, Kui, Rio, and anyone else. That's grown woman shit. That's ball shit. What she did last night was ball shit. And for someone to come up there and be like, why the fuck are you here? And why this is this your damn business? Squeeze me. It's everybody's fucking business. Because when it all boils down at the end of the fucking day, this is a community, right? And when anybody is done wrong within this community, 
it's all our fucking business, or at least it should be. I try to wrap my hand around all the negativity that is surrounding our, surrounding us every fucking day. But it's people like that that disgust me. It's people like that that don't need deserve to breathe air. It's people like that who definitely does not deserve, deserve any blessings. And please, blessing is not a hashtag. It's not a trend. It's something you give. It's something you receive. You claim you passed out bag lunches that you paid for. No the fuck you didn't. You were a volunteer. Okay? That's it. For the YouTube. You were a volunteer. Those sack lunches was already provided. Get the fuck out of here. Miss me with the bullshit. Especially when your girl came up there on Lovely's panel and said that you people went shopping without them. Hmm. It's comical when you really think about it. But at the same time, it's very, very fucking sad that people can sit there and allow the shit that, that, that people do to other innocent fucking people, good people. Me personally, have never done any foul, fucked up shit to any motherfucker on here. And I will never apologize for anything that I've said to anybody who fucked with me and mine. I wonder, those of you who condone this bullshit... The lies and the scamming and the manipulation and the selfishness of it all. How do you go to bed at night when you claim that Lady D was your sister? And y'all sat there and allowed that woman, not once. Not twice. I don't know how many times she sat there and disrespected Lady D. Fuck the nigga. You can't expect him to respect the female. He don't respect his own. You get what you get. But you women in there are foul as fuck. You dudes in there, you foul as fuck. And it leads me to wonder. Who's a part of your scam? Who down with the get down? Because clearly fucking with you two are calling you motherfuckers out. It ain't the right move. Strategy needs to be done. Things need to be thought about. And maybe calling out the fucks that condone this with you. And get up on a goddamn panel and try to convince us that we're wrong. When you have a whole group of fucking people saying the same motherfucking thing about these fucks. It's not a conspiracy. Ain't no motherfucking Illuminati bullshit. It's real. Don't nobody got to sit up here and lie on them motherfuckers. But they have every reason to lie on everybody else. It's funny. Everyone lies but them. And they ain't showed you a motherfucking thing. So we would love 
to see those receipts again. And when we see them, if you choose, because we know you took the, the live down, because we would have looked all up and through them fucking receipts, zoomed them up, everything. I would love to see Walmarts. I would love to see Sam's Club. And I would love to see 50 turkeys and all the motherfucking trimmings. Who are the 50 people? Who are the 50 families? That's it. That's all. Because there's always some mysterious fucking families. People who don't want to be acknowledged. People who don't want to say they donated. Miss me. Miss us. With that bullshit. Now, I'm going over to listen to books. That's all I really wanted to say. I'm done with the fuck shit. And I think the rest of us is too. We've been done. And when I say we, that's just the fuck I mean. We. Shout out to Qui. Shout out to Quarla, my two babies. Shalinda. Shout out to Black Snowflake. Shout out to Miss Classy. Shout out to Books. Shout out to Gears. Shout out to Drop. Shout out to everybody that's trying to be on the up and up. Trying to make some real fucking change around this bitch within YouTube and outside. And our real love. There are a lot of people that suffer every fucking day. And it's so fucked up that you got people like them that like to feed off of that suffering. I hope one day, if you believe in God, that the wrath comes down on you hard and fucking swift. I love y'all. Y'all have a great night. Peace.